It's a bright and cold morning here in Tokyo. Join me on the journey for me getting from New Zealand to here and watch me navigate the flights and also arrival at Naruto Airport and how to get to the center of Tokyo in one of the most efficient and cheapest ways possible, particularly if you've got a fair bit of luggage that you're trying to look after. Let's go. All right, we are heading out of Wellington because we're here at the airport, we're quite busy. And then we are heading to Auckland where I will connect with my flight to Tokyo. Well, here we are. Hi. Where are we traveling today? Uh, to Tokyo. Tokyo. Are you going to Auckland first? Yeah. What uh, This 6.55. going to Tokyo today? Sorry? Tokyo today? Yes, Tokyo today. Just one bag chicken? Just one bag, yeah. Bag will be picked up in Tokyo. Mm -hmm. Thank and you. And you will get both your boarding passes. Just double check the gates when you arrive in Auckland. Sure. I'll just get you to also just pop your bag onto that trolley there on the left side. On, on that trolley? Yep, yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a little different today with the baggage bag. Okay. Awesome. All right, thanks very much. Thank That's very painless, yeah. Cool, thanks. All right, I am here now in um, the Air New Zealand Lounge in Wellington, and I am using the Go 3 for uh, recording everything on the way to Japan. So, first flight, I've got to go to Auckland, and then I've got a, about a three hour wait until my next flight to Tokyo where I've been upgraded to premium economy which is really nice. Um, it's a sunny day here today. It's expected to be cold when I arrive in Tokyo but getting up to a decent temperature. I'll update you on that when I get there. But for now I'm just going to have my coffee and my scone. Okay, so what I normally do when I'm packing to go through airports now is I pack this kind of like modular way. So I've got all my gear in here. You can see the Ace Pro is tucked in behind here. Here's the flow. Here's some charges uh, and a bunch of other stuff as well. Uh, the X3 is in there and the um, cables are in here. Here's my iPhone. Uh, a bunch of other stuff in here. And my iPad is in this bag as well. Now, the good thing is that um, this all went through without me having to open anything up. I just loaded these bags up separately on the conveyor belt through security. Uh, they actually got kicked off the belt, but the security agent just had a quick look, didn't even open anything, and just popped them back on the belt again. So clearly, they had a look, they saw some stuff was on there, just wanted to give it a quick once over, and it was fine. So that's my recommendation for you, modular packing for all your electronic gear when you go through airline security works for me. Kia ora. Kia ora. Perfect, just behind Thanks. Us. Kia ora. here now um that's the plan is boarding and we're getting ready to head to Auckland which is my first stop and like I said I've got a couple of hours grab some dinner and then, uh, head into my flights to Tokyo check out the view on the way Here I am in, uh, there's some light behind me here. Here I am in Auckland. I'm just work, walking between uh, domestic terminal and international terminal where I will get my flight. Got a while to go, uh, waiting here. That's about a 10 minute walk, so let's just uh, have a little bit of chat, even though you can hear that plane revving up behind me. Hopefully I'll be able to get rid of a little bit of it in post. So, Let's talk about the elephant in the room. I'm going away for two weeks and I'm leaving my wife and kids behind. And I don't feel great about it. Um, now, to some extent, this is my job now. You know, I'm making a real go of, you know, making this travel tech channel uh, on YouTube. Uh, and 
I love talking to you guys. I love making these videos and this is it. This is what I want to do to try and make an income to support us. Hopefully, as the channel grows, but still doesn't feel great leaving them. I was just messaging my wife saying, I wish we could all be going together, but the reality is, is that we can't afford that. Um, and I would be super busy and I wouldn't see them because that's what I would be doing. And until sometime in the future, we can do that kind of like together and find a way to do that, then uh, that's, that's how this is gonna be. Now, my wife does have a job where it does mean that she has been away for kind of like three weeks in, in Europe. Um, and that was kind of okay. And at some point in the future, she may well do that again. Um, maybe in the not too distant future, she's just kind of like changed roles at work, which means that she may be sent away for a little while to do some work overseas. And you know, that's what having a relationship, being in a partnership is all about. You kind of try and support each other to be your best selves and get you what, what you want out of life, not just for yourselves, but your kind of like plan for the family and each other too. Oh my God, that sun is right in my eyes. But yeah, so I have mixed feelings about going, but I am excited about going too. And it's just kind of holding all those feelings at the same time it can sometimes feel a little bit complicated. I'm gonna put this out to the side here and talk like that. It's gonna be a bit better. Um, so the other thing is, of course, for the first time ever, I drop an AirPod on an airplane, which is horrifying when that happens. So I'm in the front row seat and someone behind me has got their suitcase jammed up right next to me and I can't get it. Fortunately, when the seatbelt sign was kind of like turned off after takeoff, after we kind of like flattened out, she uh, moved her suitcase out of the way and I could see it uh, right close to her. So she managed to grab it and uh, pass it to me. But yeah, I've never had that happen before. Have you had that happen before? Had an AirPod go missing like that? Yeah, that was, uh, I really didn't want to lose that at the beginning of my trip for two weeks because I didn't bring any spare ones with me and it's not the first thing I really want to buy when I'm in the Akihabara in uh, Tokyo tomorrow. Hey, well, that's loud. All right, I will uh, switch off. You'll see a bit of the terminal. I'll talk a little bit uh, through there. I'll be uh, going through passport control and everything and another security check. So as you can see here, like, Auckland is an international airport, but really, in this grand scheme of things, it's not that busy. I mean, it's not that big an airport. Services a fair few people coming in and out of the country. You can see here, there's um, a lot of people waiting to board a, uh, or check into a, a flight here, one of the Chinese airlines. But yeah, it's, um, not that big an airport. You see now we're into this part of the uh, of the airport. This is like the arrivals here is like right in front of me. I mean, don't get me wrong, like the problem with you know, Auckland International Airport is that flights all tend to arrive at the same time. So it can get like super duper busy when you're arriving, that's for sure. It can be queues getting through like biosecurity and stuff like that. But yeah, here we go, premium check-in. Hi, already got a boarding pass, thank you. All right, straight up to customs. I'd better turn this off here. They don't really like you uh, filming when you're at customs, eh? All right, same deal here. Um, I got my, got my stuff pulled aside from security but um, they just looked at it a little bit more closely on the x-ray pulled nothing out of the bag and nothing out of the mo modular packing that I'd done and yeah I was just yeah straight ahead keep going so yeah that works pretty well the whole modular packing with the gear thing I'm really pleased with that that saves me a lot of time if that had all been loose in my bag or anything and it was pretty tightly packed I showed you in the uh, previous airport it was pretty tightly packed so it's a good sign that that works pretty well. All right, 
let's go find somewhere to sit down and charge up some of this gear. My watch is about to run out and my phone could do with a top up too before I get on the plane. Might have a little snack or something too. It's pretty nice to see a few Air New Zealand jets. This looks like an Air China jet here, yep. And a Jetstar jet as well. Oh, pretty wonderful. All right, let's have a look inside. Let's see how busy it is. Kilda, thank you. Oh, Ooh, it's pretty quiet. Oh, I love it. Last time I was in here, it was flipping mad. Whereas this looks very quiet indeed. I do have to say I love it. I'm spoiled for choice. Let me show you around. It's pretty nice in here. I am quite lucky in that if I'm traveling by myself. Whoop. Yeah, if I'm traveling by myself, I do get to come in here quite a lot um, with the status that I have and I managed to keep somehow, miraculously. And there's this little bit here with these pods that you can just kind of like sleep in or have a little on mooch in over here very comfy chairs last time i was in here though i remember it being like ridiculously hot we've got this kind of like living wall here too but i think i might go in the food bit maybe in the tv bit as well see what's going on but it's pretty it's extremely quiet in here here's the flights though okay yeah mine's not even on here yet i've got ages until i go and uh, yeah, no music or anything playing in here. It's just super peaceful. Let's have a look at the food. All right, what we got? Oh, oh, coffee mousse, black forest cake, salads, cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers, cheese and crackers, sandwiches, 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 salads. And what we got? Main meals here. Oh, lamb shoulder, potatoes. Eggplant with mint and peas and couscous. Huh. I think I might go for the lamb. Let's have a look at that. Well, pff, well, not that fast. They are going to feed me on the plane. So I might wait for that instead. Check this out. I've got a, I've got a cocktail menu, but I've got a couple of no alcohol ones down here at the bottom with the pineapple mango margarita and the amaretto no sour with candied almond citrus and I'm gonna have that because why not been busy today no pretty quiet in here oh good yeah because I was surprised how quiet it was <laughs> I've been in here sometimes and you can't even sit down. Yeah, it's going to be busy. Yeah. I'll make the most of it. <laughs> yeah. Where are you heading to? Uh, Tokyo. Oh, nice. Yeah. Uh, kind of working, kind of holiday. Yeah. Only if you're traveling. Yeah, I know. I have a job that makes people travel. Yeah, yeah, I'm pretty lucky. Yeah, us. yeah. It's kind of fun. Oh, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Oh, that's actually really, really good. Okay, fair enough. I'm here. I'm ready to get Oh, yep, I'm on my way. All right, it's about quarter past 11 at night now, and I've just been called for my flight, boarding for Narita. So I'm going to Narita in uh, Tokyo, which is about an hour and 20 minutes away by train from where I actually want to end up in, in Tokyo. So a bit more travel when I get there in the morning but it's actually pretty painless it's just one train uh, and I've done it before so I know what I'm doing it's the sky access train that I'll be getting from Narita to Asakusa which is kind of like on the north eastern side yeah eastern side northeastern side of Tokyo all right let's get towards the gate hey Thank you. May I ask if you're a medical doctor? No, I'm not. Oh, okay. Yeah. Welcome on board, nonetheless. Just down there to your left, please. Okay, great. Thank you. Hi. 
All right, right. so I'm on the plane and you've had a little look around premium economy. Um, I've got no one here next to me at the moment, but I'm not sure how long that's going to last. So yeah, I'm here on the Go 3 still. Probably going to have to fade out some of this music because I don't want to get pinged for that. But um, yeah, it's looking all right actually. Um, it's quite late, but I'm looking forward to having something to eat and then maybe getting some sleep. Yeah, in Tokyo. This is Narita Airport. It's a very long corridor just down here heading towards immigration and customs. A really nice flight, really. Just a couple of bits of turbulence, but nothing too serious. Food was good. Just served a bit late, like 2 a.m. my time. It's quite late to really be here having an evening meal, so I got about four and a half hours sleep on that flight. So that's pretty cool. Whenever you get more than about four hours sleep on a 11 hour flight, I consider that a win. Okay, I'm gonna go here, get through all this stuff, and then I'm gonna do a few practicalities like getting my eSIM switched on, like I said, and then picking up some transport cards, getting my ticket, and then heading onto the train platform. I had a really interesting conversation with one of the attendants on the plane who was looking for some information about how to get cheaply into uh, town from Naruto Airport because she had a day off uh, but also wanted to go to Shibuya Sky and I said actually you probably need to pre-book that at the moment but yeah if you're interested check out the video on my channel because I went there in August and I've already put that video up I have a ton more footage that I've just not had time to process as I've been kind of reconfiguring and reworking the channel into the tech packer which is where you are today and I'm really enjoying getting the channel up and running in that kind of format. Okay, at the end of this walkway now, just turn around here, you can see uh, international transfer and uh, arrivals and domestic in about 170 meters. So, uh, I've now got the screen flipped down. So you can see oh, one more walkway to go. And then uh, I'm there. Okay, I'm through customs and everything. I've got my eSIM activated. Had a couple of little things I had to do with that, but now it's all done. And I have to say, it's a lot quieter here arriving at this time at Narita Airport than it was in Haneda, which was the last time I came here. You just see here now, I'm just in the uh, one floor down from international arrivals. Uh, and this is where, um, just behind me here, you can see that's where the train station is. So my next mission is to go and find an IC card, which is what you use to pay for kind of like convenience stores or, or anything really, uh, but particularly transport. And I'll sort that out now. I'll get my mask back on before I go back down there. And just behind me here is Lawson, which is like one of the big sort of like convenience stores here. Uh, like 7-Eleven, Family Mart and other ones that you'll find as well. Um, don't really need anything at the moment, although it's really tempting to go and buy a snack. I've eaten quite a lot on the plane, don't really need any more right now. So I'm going to head down into the train station. I'll just stick uh, the go on the on my cap and uh, you'll see what's going on. Um, you have a Suica card, please. Okay, uh, what? Just one, please. How much? Uh, deposit 2,000, please. Okay. Yeah. Ah, uh, sorry, cash only. Uh-huh. Ah. Thank you. This is a trigger part. Mm-hmm. Yep. And this does not expire, yes? Yes, not, oh, but sorry, uh, for the 10 years. Ten for 10 years. years. Yeah. Okay, thank you. This is change. Thank you very much. Yeah, thank you. And you have a receipt, please. So, how much is on here, in, and how much is deposit? Deposit is the five hundred. Uh huh. And so there's fifteen hundred on here. Fifteen, fifteen hundred. Yeah, yeah. Yes. Right. Okay.
ありがとうございます。Okay, so that's super interesting.、Um, for a while, the Suica cards were not available. They just had a semiconductor shortage. They were only selling、uh, 28 day PASMO cards and Suica welcome cards, which expired after 28 days.、Um, but you didn't have to pay a deposit on those. But now, the 10 year ones are back, at least the Suica cards. And I think you can only buy them at the airport, from what I remember. So that's these.、Um, and I bought this. Whoop, And I bought this at the JR East、uh, station just here behind me、uh, at Narita Airport.、Uh, and it's a 500 yen deposit. You can only pay by cash, so just remember that if that's something that you want to do.、Uh, and then that will last 10 years. That won't have to, I won't have to cash that in when I leave. I'll just keep it safe and it'll keep the credit on there for me, which is fantastic. I'm glad that they're back in again. All right,、um, next, let's find my train. Okay, so I just bought the Sky Access ticket here. You see here.、Uh, I put it in here. Asakusa. And I'm going to the Toi Asakusa line. Narita Sky Access line is what I'm taking. And then that costs me、uh, 1370 yen, which is not very much at all. Let's see, it's probably about、mm, 15, 16. New Zealand dollar is probably about 10, 11 US dollars at the moment. So, yeah, that's actually pretty darn cheap. So, I've got my ticket. I could just have gone with my、uh, IC card, having thought about it.、Um, and you can see here, this is where I'm doing it. It's just at the Keisei line here. So, it's not the JR line, it's the Keisei line that I'm taking. And now you can see here, The Access Express, just down here, is what I'm following. Narita Sky Access Line. And I'm going to take that to platform one over here. You can see I'll just go through this gate here. Just waiting for this guy to go. That's only eight IC cards. Just gonna go through here. Careful. So, Access Express is here. Nearly went down the wrong one. Alright, here we are. Access Express is this way, so we just w a n t to make sure we're gonna get the train going the right way. Okay, here we go. I think this has actually got a while before it gets going, so I'm just gonna relax here on the train. I'm in Asakusa,、uh, and you can probably see just about. Let me see if I can get the right angle. You can see the Tokyo Sky Tree there behind me, just about there. And I am now going to be walking over to my accommodation, which will probably take me about 12 minutes to walk to.、Uh, I'll show you a little bit of that、uh, as we get there.、Um, see the big golden poo thing over there? You see that? That's kind of famous. That's just by the river over here.、Um, And yeah, so this is Asakusa, which is like it's quite a touristy area, but it's also where the big Sensoji temple is.、Uh, you'll have seen that on my channel already, that video.、Uh, and so, yeah, it is、um, 20 to 10 a.m., so I've made good time getting here.、Uh, and then I will get rid of my bag, just change a few things over, and then I will probably go and have a sit down somewhere and just regroup. And then I'm going to stop using the Go3 today, and then I think it's going to be the Ace Pro for the rest of today. That's my plan because this afternoon I'm going to Akihabara. So, yeah, it's just a、uh, regular Wednesday morning here, albeit Valentine's Day. 
um, and I'm just walking down the street here. It's very cold in the shadows and I am definitely the only person who's wearing a t-shirt which is quite ridiculous because look at these people here they've got like the winter coats and scarves and things on. Now here's a little tip for you there's a 7-eleven just over here. Now from what I've read that this is the place to best withdraw your money out from an ATM. I got absolutely fleeced last time I was here in August by changing money in Haneda. I think I must have lost like 10 or 15 percent. Can't remember exactly but it was a lot on the transaction in the Bureau de Change in Haneda Airport. So yeah I, I wasn't going to do that again so I did some research and by all accounts for many people if you've got the right bank card uh, it's going to be 7-Eleven is the place to go to get your money changed. So yes I will definitely be doing that. This looks like a, I don't know, a laundrette or something. Uh, so yeah, all the little small businesses around here. And this is the, one of the main trunk roads so I'm going to be ducking right here at the, for a while according to Apple Maps. Here we go. And I've got about a 10 minute walk to go. So I have to say that this bag has been great so far. If you look here, it stands up and doesn't fall over, which is really good. This is what do you want in a bag? So yeah, it's done really well so far. Um, managed to get my packing down to about 16 kilograms, but I've got a whole load of like old t-shirts that I'm probably gonna wear. Uh, and they need replacing, so I'll probably wear them and then dispose of them when I'm in the right place. Now, I think there's a temple around here somewhere, but I'll search it out later. Uh, I said something on the map. Anyway, this is the back streets of Asakusa, where um, it looks like people will have apartments and live and uh, get on with their lives. Oh, look, this little shrine there. I will find now I'll start to recognize some of this place because this is back where I was uh, staying back in August for a couple of days and this is where I'm starting off again this time uh, and so then I'll be moving to moving around to different neighborhoods in uh, in Tokyo this time around that was nice Asakusa Ryokan to Kaiso. Now I'm a bit early, so I will be just dropping my bag off. Hopefully the owner is still the same and will recognize me. But um, if you're wondering what this is opposite me here, this is actually a love hotel. And if you don't know what these are, then this is probably not the right channel for me to be explaining it to you. Uh, maybe in another video. おはようございます。おはようございます。ウェルカムバックだな。あ、thank Yes. Second stay, uh, third stay. Ne? Yes, three days. Uh, yes, three days. Mm -hmm. And then one more, three days. Yes. 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 So we've got three Five stays, two days, three days, three days. Yes, yes. yes. Okay, yes. go. Cool. Could you play no game? Mm -hmm. First stay only? I can play first stay oh, now, okay, yes. Okay. Catch your card. A card, please? Card. Thank you. Okay. Hey, first stay. Can okay, I have receipt. a receipt, yeah, please? Thank you. Mm, okay, okay. Thank you. Keep luggage. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, wonderful. <laughs> So yeah, that's a family-run Ryokan and they were so friendly and so lovely when I was here in August where they let me not only store my bag uh, but for five days they let me store a bag which is a very very tight space and uh, they were just so accommodating, so lovely. Um, and they were explaining to me that after the pandemic 
Um, so many places went out of business, it's actually quite hard to get accommodation like that now in Tokyo. So yeah, I was uh, pleased to come back and give them some business. Staying there for a couple of nights, then I'm going to go stay somewhere else uh, for four nights with some chopping and changing of plans that I had to do, because some things were working and some things were not. Um, and then back here for three nights. And then I've got a night somewhere else because they were actually full that night. Uh, it's the public holiday for the Emperor's birthday, that's Feb 23rd. And then my last three nights back here again as well, because it's a really good spot to kind of base yourself. And it's a, like I say, really friendly spot, really cheap. Get my own single room and private bath and shower, which, you know, you can't do better than that really. So yeah, that's me um, with the go three for today, this afternoon. I'm going to Akihabara, so come and join me for that.